Welcome to our channel, Gaming Duology. Welcome to our first New World video, where we will be going over everything you need to know about the elusive saltpeter. We'll go over what saltpeter is, what it's used for in New World, and where to find it. This is the number one question we saw during the alpha and beta testing. A lot of players look for saltpeter early on due to its uses and its value on the market. It is used to make gunpowder, which is used to make ammunition for the musket. You combine 5 charcoal, 2 flint, and 1 saltpeter at the workshop to create gunpowder. 1 saltpeter will make 5 gunpowder, which makes a good item to craft to either sell or use the ammo if you're using the musket in-game. Or simply to level up your engineering skill. Early on, gunpowder and ammunition both sell for a good amount of coin, which allows you to make some quick money early on. In general, you can find saltpeter in caves and mines. Saltpeter comes in small, medium and large piles. Each pile has a different respawn rate and yields a different amount. We spent many hours standing around and waiting for saltpeter to respawn, so you don't have to. The following data is based off the region's Monarch's Bluffs and First Light where we took 10 samples of each size. We found the average respawn rate of small saltpeter is just over 2 minutes, the respawn rate of medium is 3 minutes and the large respawns in roughly 4 minutes and 40 seconds. The average small saltpeter will give you 4 saltpeter, the medium will give you 8.6 and the large averages at 15.2. The small saltpeter spawns at least 3 and up to 5 saltpeter. The medium ranges from 7 to 11 and the large ranges from 13 to 16. So which one is worth farming the most, you may ask? Well, the small will give you 1.85 saltpeter per minute you wait, the medium will give you 2.86 and the large gives you 3.25, which also gives you more time in between to go off and explore the world or harvest other items while you wait for the large saltpeter to respawn. If you're looking for saltpeter right off the bat, what you're going to need to do is know where you started. There's four main starting locations. One is in Everfall, one is in Monarch's Bluff, one is in Windsward, and one is in First Light. If you're starting in First Light, there's many places to find saltpeter. Um, there's some along the mountain ridge over here, and then some at the uh, full moon den over in the corner, and on the other side of that, there's some more there as well, before you even reach the town. All these should be pretty accessible when you start. If you're starting out in Monarch's Bluff, the first thing you're going to notice is the watchtower. After you're done with your beginning missions, they're going to send you off to the town. But between the town and the watchtower, you'll be able to pick up some saltpeter right here in this den. This is nice because it's a low area and the mobs that you'll have to fight are pretty low level. That'll allow you to get some saltpeter right off the bat. After that, you can kind of make your rounds and pick it up in other locations in the same area. And you don't even have to leave the region. If you start in Windsward like I did, you'll start here at this watchtower. The nice thing about this place is one of the first missions they have you do is go kill some stuff in a corrupted area. When you're in this corrupted area, as you can see, this is the area. There is a lot of saltpeter in here that you can pick up. This is actually great because right outside here, there's a bunch of herbs that you can gather, trees you can chop down while you're waiting for all this to respawn. This will be highly dependent on how many other people you have to compete for this saltpeter. So it's going to be kind of hard to grab that pretty quickly. One downside in Windsward is there's not a lot of saltpeter in the rest of the map, as you can see. So you got a couple points down here, but most of it's all in just this one area, in that starting area. If you're starting off in Everfall, one of the downsides is the only place to get saltpeter is right up here at the top. And you're going to be starting down here. It's a pretty short trek to get up there, but the downside is those mobs are pretty high level. So they're just going to one-shot you. You're going to need to wait until you're about level 14 before you can run around the mobs and uh, just mine it as you can. I suggest if you start in Everfall, you're going to want to travel down to Monarch's Bluff or Windsward to pick yourself up saltpeter down here, because right off the bat, it's going to be tough trying to get the saltpeter that's up at the top. Also, if you're wondering where I got all this information from, I just went to the website here at newworld-map.com, and you can find yourself a lot of information. You can find out where all these other ores, chests, plants, essence, wood, so anything you're looking for, this map has it. It's a wonderful tool. Use it when you start out. 
and thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget that notification icon to get all of our future videos. We will be going over more resources as time goes on, so please like and subscribe and follow us on Twitch in the description below. We'll see you guys later. Cheers!